Coach Christensen, uh, state title locked up. After a uh, disappointing Wednesday state duels, you guys live for those duels, but uh, coming away with the trophy is always good, right? Yeah, it is. We went out there and, and competed um, and uh, just came up a little bit short. And, you know, that's, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes, but I thought our kids got focused and, and ready for the individual tournament. What do you think this says about your program, being able to just – this was a grind of a year uh, for you guys, I think, is finding the right guys in the lineup, and uh, it just—it just seemed like you guys had a lot of pressure on your on your shoulders when you've never ha really had to have that in the past. You were not really the top dogs, I guess, uh, but coming in with maybe a little chip on your shoulder was it good or bad for your kids? Um, I think it was good uh, that we weren't ranked, you know, number one all year long, or. Maybe we were in duels for a while, but it was one of those things where we needed as a program to go from a year ago when we had super studs and, and uh, an awesome year to a year that we had this year where people were doubting us. People were saying, you know, they're going to be down. They're not going to be able to do it again. Um, what are you going to do when those seniors graduate, referring to last year's class? And so that's pretty satisfying for us as, as a team and a coaching staff and, and a school to be able to get back in that same position and, and to lock this thing up before the final start tonight so our kids can just go wrestle. What were some of the, some of the names, I guess, on this team that just completely came out of nowhere and went from being maybe like a, a JV wrestler to getting on the stand this year? Um, well, I'll just go with the last guy that just clenched it for us, Dan Ramirez. Um, JV the last three years. Actually, uh, he moved over from Urbandale after his freshman year. Um, great story about him is um, they said he'd never make our lineup. And, uh, you know, so proved a lot of people wrong and, and uh, spent spent the last two years on JV behind those guys. Going down to Cameron Padovich, you know, he was a state qualifier last year, but, you know, inches away from making the finals and then coming back and getting fourth. You know, he's been in our varsity lineup, but he's one of those kids that he started wrestling as an eighth grader. And uh, I remember one the first time I saw him, he was built about the same way. And uh, I said, you're going to be a state place winner for us someday. And uh, it came true. And then you go down to Saul Jones. Saul Jones was fifth on our depth chart because there was nobody behind him as a freshman. Um, I could show you a great picture of Saul as a freshman in September. Uh, that would make you laugh. And then to, for him to turn around and, and be a state place winner and have an opportunity to wrestle in the semis, um, just absolutely awesome. So, you know, those, those guys right there, that's what our team's founded on. That's what it's about. It's about taking kids that maybe don't believe in themselves and, and don't... Uh, don't have a lot of expectations on them and, and helping them achieve their goals. Adam Brown, you've been battling Zach Price really all season. Those guys go back and forth, a lot of similar styles. And uh, what, what did you guys work on leading into this you know, this tournament to change it over to get him to advance? Well, Brown, is, he's pretty sly. You know, you just don't know when, when you're getting everything he's got and uh, the one thing that we did say with him was you got to get to your offense you can't stand around if you remember the conference finals match he spent that last that third period running the whole time and he can't do that against price he's gonna he's gonna catch her you're gonna give up stalling calls and so the one thing we knew we had to change was we got to get to our offense so and he, he's done that all week and and through all of his matches he had some tough tough matches to get to the finals and and uh, he really really came through tough What's the message to uh, your kids, knowing that you guys got the state title now? Didn't get what you wanted on Wednesday, but uh, message after this and going to, going to next year. Um, well, we still got three matches to win tonight. Now the pressure's off. Let it fly. Go wrestle for yourself. Have some fun, and that's what this is all about. And you know, I guess uh, for our kids in the future, you just gotta believe. You just gotta believe.